hello guys and today I'm going to have some out of date crustless cheddar and onion quiche I think it's pronounced quiche I'm not sure okay over here I, people say quiche but um I know it's a strange way of pronouncing it but based on the spelling you don't say quiche I believe or, but anyway I'm sure you can do your own research on that for those learning English um, this should have been £2.30 it was 58 pence I bought this on the day it was about to expire which was the 10th of January and it's currently the 12th of January 2023 um, currently in the news today just to prove it the story is saying the ambulance is taking 90 minutes to get to 999 calls Sunak facing Tory revolt over internet safety law Lee Ryan guilty of racially aggravated assault and River dances Michael Flatley has aggravated cancer and also a story about Afghan refugees take UK to court over school move. Now these are headlines from the BBC News website, which I couldn't have known a couple of days earlier. Okay. So I'm now going to open it. Now you can eat this hot or cold. So purposes of speed, I'm just going to eat it cold. It's got um, a sort of, I don't know how you explain this, but it's got something here where you pull it and then you can open it very easily and take it out I said I'm going to eat it cold so I'm going to just cut a slice out I'm going to do this very quickly because I'm cooking at the moment so for my mum so but not for this video so I now have a slice of quiche And basically, it's quite sour. Um, it's moist, but not very, not very, very juicy, but moist. I mean, something wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. I think this is like time. You can definitely taste the cheese, but it's very sour. Um, other ingredients in this are consists of semi skim milk, pasteurised egg, onion, mature cheddar cheese, extra mature cheddar cheese, wheat flour, red Leicester cheese, medium fat soft cheese. Palm oil, corn flour, double cream, rapeseed oil, maize flour, chive, white pepper, and nutmeg. Now, it's strange I guess they should call it chive because I've always since said it's chives. And it says you can recycle both the tray and the card. And here it's got some instructions if you want to put it in the oven. Because you can have it hot or cold. And um, here it's got the food traffic symbols. Which tells you that it's not very good in saturates. But good in sugars. And, and average in fat and salt. And in energy it's got 10%. I don't know why it's white. Maybe that means it's. It's good, very good. I do not know what white means, but never mind. Maybe it just means it's not relevant. I don't know. Anyway, guys. And sour and slightly juicy. And now you'll see rips of the green. That's the chives, I believe. And let's just show you it again. Here's the rest of it. Take it out so I can show you the inside. Um, 
There you go, guys. Me, I've, I'm going to check on the food now. I'm cooking for my mum. So, out of date, crustless cheddar and onion quiche. It says extra mature cheddar. It says extra mature cheddar and sauteed, I think it's sauteed, onion baked with un double cream. I said, because I'm aware some people are trying to learn English are trying to learn these, and sometimes it's strange words which aren't that strange, but they're not from traditional English. They were used in the English language that originate from elsewhere. I'm assuming that's French, sauteed. It's French, I'm assuming. And but it's used in this in, in English, okay? So there you go, you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.